for. Also, it's way too late in the season to be tracking a hurricane in the Gulf, but we are tracking a rare Gulf hurricane in the month of November. It's a category two. Hurricane Raphael is now starting to make that more westerly turn, although National Hurricane Center and the Hurricane Hunters are still clocking it with a little northwest movement, but it'll start to slide more west here as we go through today, and it's likely going to maintain hurricane status for a couple of more days. It has slowed down some, and it's going to stay further south, so it's not going to interact with that wind shear until later this weekend, and so we still think it's going to probably be a hurricane even into maybe Saturday. Now notice that cone is well south of New Orleans, but as we get into the weekend here, there is still some uncertainty as it weakens. What is it going to do? Oftentimes in November, your steering currents are a bit wild. It's not as clear cut as what we have in August and September when things aren't as well active in the jet stream. So things are a bit more clear in the summer to summer months, but once you get into fall and closer to winter, you get a lot more components moving in the atmosphere. So there are still some scenarios that bring us some moisture from this by the end of the weekend. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a few, but this is today. This is tomorrow. We have a couple showers not associated with the storm itself. We've got a fresh breeze out of the east, so coastal flooding will continue. It's minor, but it's noticeable. And then notice a cold front blowing into the state by Saturday, the hurricane or whatever's left of it down here on Saturday. But as that front comes in, it may start to tug a little bit of that moisture our direction. So the way it stands right now, I've got a 30% chance of rain on Saturday. Sunday, though, could still end up being one of our wetter days. Now that is not locked in still, but I'm still eyeing Sunday for any potential moisture getting pulled our way. So if that moisture gets pulled our way, it would likely be on about Sunday. So here we are. You can see through Saturday, but by Sunday, we may see whatever's left of the moisture from Raphael get pulled to the north. Some guidance says the complete opposite, so this is really a tricky forecast, but just know we aren't quite locked in exactly how wet Sunday could be, but that could end up being somewhat of a wetter day with even a few showers and storms. Certainly something you want to follow closely. I do think we'll have a couple showers Friday and Saturday, but it's not a complete washout. So for Friday or Saturday plans outside, have your rain gear with you. Have that backup plan just in case, but Sunday could end up being the wetter days if that moisture from Raphael gets pulled up in our direction, and we're still not quite sure that's going to happen. Notice, though, next week we'll have a little of a northerly wind, I think, so we'll be in the upper 70s on Monday and Tuesday. That will certainly feel nice, but even that is still going to be above average for this time of year. And then if we're actually going to see a decent front move through, it's probably not going to happen until around Thursday of next week. But even that front doesn't look all that strong. But Brandon, it sure would be nice to have highs back in the 70s and not near records in the 80s.